America's Got Talent, their dreams come true. We are the greatest country in the world. We have the most creative people. You're everything that makes America great. Darren Osborne! You are on your way to doing something great with your life. And Howie Van Gogh! This show is about to go to a level it has never gone before. to hear the truth. Right, right, right. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but feelings are going to be hurt. Feelings are going to be hurt. I've been on the radio for 35 years. I built a whole career out of finding people who would appeal to an audience. I know what America wants, and quite frankly, I'm the only American on the whole damn panel anyway. Howard Stern has no idea what he has got himself into. He's been fined. He's been fired. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. I'm really here on a serious mission. We need a superstar for this show. And we're going to find it. Somebody could walk in off the street who's been toiling away, or like in my own situation, told, hey, you're not good enough. I'm ready to go. This is it. Let's do it already. So the judges have just arrived. The acts are inside. It's time to get this party started. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Day one, Los Angeles, baby. Y'all ready? Welcome to America's Got Talent, season seven. Are y'all ready to meet your judges? What is it like sitting between these two handsome devils? Um, it's very overwhelming. And all I have to say is seven is a very lucky number. We are in season seven. Season seven, baby. How? Yes. What can we expect? We can expect the unexpected. I think the bar has been raised. I just want to personally welcome my friend Howard Stern. Thank you. What have you gotten yourself into? I don't know. All I know is I'm exhausted already. <laughs> These executives at NBC must be out of their mind taking a risk on me. I don't know who's responsible for this, but they should be fired immediately. I say I don't make it through the first show. What do you think? Are you guys ready to get this show started? Jackson. I'm from Fontana, California. I'm 34 years old. I've been a magician since I was in elementary school. I wanted to be like David Copperfield. I put a lot of heart and soul into this. I want the fame. Yeah, I drive on fame. Test one, two, three, four, test one. It feels a little surreal. It's weird. Does it? Yeah, it's weird to be After a After watching it all Because I've years? watched it all these years. Now you're in it. I'm nervous? I'm a, a little bit. Are we ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, let's do I it. I am so ready. I need to judge something. We're here for you, Howard. Go ahead and get him. <laughs> All right. I love a sharp-dressed man. What's well, your name? Aoni Jackson. Aoni Jackson. That's, a, that's your real name? No, that's not my real name. That's your superstar name. Superstar name, man. What do you do? I am a magician. Perfect. Now... I've said to Howie and Sharon, I do believe a magician could very easily win it. I'm a huge fan of magic. Thank you. All right, I can't wait. I'm really pulling for it. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to perform something that has never been done on television before. That's because I've never been on television. I need to borrow Nick. Nick, would you mind helping me out with this trick? Give it up for Nick Cannon. I need to borrow your ring. My wedding? Yeah. Nah, it doesn't come off. All right, all right, all right. Hold on a second. Let's borrow a ring from somebody that actually doesn't mind giving it out to strangers. Howie Mandel, what do you say? Are you serious? I don't mind. You don't touch my hand. Touch him. No touching. You're not touching, right? <laughs> Howie, have you ever seen me before? Jeez, Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Howie, have you ever seen me before? 
Well, I was just sitting there. When you just... <laughs> I've never met you before. No. No. And, and uh, from the weight of this ring, you may not ever, never see me again. That Everybody mean? take a good look at how he's ring. <laughs> Remember what it looks like, just in case you should ever see it again. Watch, because the ring goes into my hand like this. All right. It's gone. But the really amazing thing is it's reappeared back on your finger. Take a look. No, that would have been good though, right? Hey, hey, wait, you need to come. Wait, wait. Come. What in the hell is going on? I'm glad I didn't give him my ring. I feel like an idiot. Buzzer, you got three of them. Okay, you may it's not over. like the body, but it's I got off. the ring. You don't want it? No, no, you, you don't understand. I don't want the ring anymore. <laughs> Howie, we'll well, have a clean get up. off the stage. It's going to take all night. Please, gotta... get off. You have the ring. I don't want the ring anymore. Anyway, uh, look, I had a lot of hope for you. I was really rooting for you. I wanted to see some magic. And all I saw is a guy with his pants off and a, a rather small package, quite frankly. <laughs> Don't feel bad, I'm in the same boat, my friend. What did you think, Sharon? I'm well, confused. Yeah. Uh, are you a stripper, a stripper or a magician? Stripper magician. I oh. think he's more stripper than magician. magician yeah. yeah. Okay. But nobody's doing it. But nobody's, nobody's doing it for a reason. Stop. <laughs> it's getting ugly. We better vote. <laughs> the answer's no. No. Sharon? Uh, it's definitely a no for me. As a stripper, you can't have man boobs, you understand? Yeah. You can't. I have them, but I'm not a stripper. And as a magician, it didn't work for me. I'm a no also, I'm sorry. Okay. It's not going to be Vegas for you. Thank you. Right. So it didn't really go as planned? No, it didn't go as planned. I didn't understand. What was, what was going on? What was that? I don't what know. It's it? my ring. Go get it clean. I got three things to say to you, Howard. Welcome to AGT. And I have three things. I'm going home. <laughs> Coming up. No. Stop. <laughs> wow. Where's it going? Stay with him, Howard. Howard. Hold him. <laughs> Bussy. Let's go, Ali! Hey, welcome back to America's Got Talent. It's a party! This is who I'm leaving my wife for. Just bust the move. Would you like to meet my babies? This is Ella Fitzgerald. This feels like a bad horror movie. What is going on? I'm Les Golan. I'm 55 years old. And all around Los Angeles, I'm referred to as the bird lady. You pooped on mommy's shirt. I see that. Mwah. Beautiful. I have 22 cockatiels, and they are all my babies, my grandbabies, and my great-grandbabies. Whoops! I hug them and kiss them right on the belly and they eat out of my mouth. Is that good? Mm. Ooh, look at you. Up. Drop up. This is our first performance, and we're all very excited about it. Look at those faces. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hello. Yeah, I don't want to... 
I don't want to talk too loud. Would it scare the birds if I talk too loud? No, it's fine. Your name is Miss Les? Miss Les, yes. Miss Les. And I take it you're a bird trainer? I showed love, never That's trained one. him. Now, when you, when you have birds like that, they go to the bathroom on you, right? You can't train That's them. That's correct. That's correct. So that design on the shirt... Is there for a reason. Right, it hides everything. When you have a bird act like this, are you a vegetarian or you won't eat turkey or chicken? <laughs> You were on an island, and all you had were your birds. Would you no. eat them? You would not. No. You'd rather die than eat your own birds. I admire that. I love it. Well, I'm anxious to see what you do, and uh, America is waiting for you. This could be it. This could be the act we've been waiting for. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little freaked out by the bird lady, I'm just saying. Certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air. There were angels dancing at the Ritz, and a cockatiel sang in Barclay Square. The streets of town were paved with stars. It was such a romantic affair. And as we turned and said. Good night, a cockatiel sang in the Square. I know, cause I was there that night in Barclay. I felt really bad giving you the X. I, um, I can appreciate something here, but I'm not sure what I'm appreciating. I didn't think it was a million dollar act, to be right. quite honest with you. Uh, I think you're a very sweet woman, and I love that you take care of these birds and you don't uh. eat them. I came on because I had loved to sing, and they came on to join me. I know. This is where you and I differ, Howard. Yeah. I, I love this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. No, you don't. I will see this umpteen times before I will see a mediocre singer. Howie, I, the, the, Howie, the thing is, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but I think we've seen it all. Quite. No, I want I, this. This is what is great. This is not Howie, property. Let, let, no, because no, we've had this discussion. Howie, often. you're Can woozy. Can we stop? Can we stop? Let us go. Sit Let's down. go to the Let's vote. vote. I'm so Howie, passionate about how do you vote? I vote yes. I want to okay. see you again. I think you're a very sweet woman, but I'm a no, so your fate rests with the beautiful Sharon Osbourne. Sharon, you love animals. I you do love, love music. animals. This I is do. animals and music. Howie, stop it. No, oh. I, Go home, Howie. I must oh. say that I did enjoy Let's your voice. Again. You have a very sweet Let's voice. You do. You really do. I have made a decision. Here we go. The decision is no. I'm they sorry. They don't know. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Sharon was right now. No. Stop. No. How? She's covered in birds. <laughs> She's getting something. <laughs> what? Here I am. What are we doing? Working. We're working. This is it. All right, come on. I'm new to this whole thing, and I'm waiting for the big talent. Go ahead, million dollars. Left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day. Big wheels keep on turning. I've been doing radio for over 35 years, and you're too weird for my show. That might hurt my feelings if I respected your opinion. <gasps> Well, you ready for that, sir? Get off my face. That was just rude. And do you know how brokenhearted I am that he has no respect for me? <laughs> We're both virgins. It's my first time. It's your first time. Exactly. I would love it if we have a big moment here and you really could sing. <laughs> How 
Has someone in your, in your life said to you, you know, maybe this isn't for you? Has a parent... Uh... No, my parents are dead. And uh, they died of embarrassment? No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Having the X is a lot of power. I like it. I like hitting it. I like massaging it. Dreams a little busted right now, but honestly, I don't. I don't think you have it to go on. And Can I convince you? Please give me one more chance. I'm gonna tell you, baby, it's a no for me. Why did Piers Morgan give up this job? My honey, I know with a daughter, you will be gone. Why are you all doing? First of all, I think you are a magnificent looking woman. As a like fatherly advice, hey, just to marry a rich guy. Sharon did it, it worked out fantastic. I'm telling you, you need an Aussie, someone like that. <laughs> Let me guess, you're a sax player? People call me sexy sax man. Can you get girls playing the sax? I've never had a problem in that department. Yeah. Hi, showed me the ropes, you showed me what to do, but now I feel very, very calm and confident. So what are you saying, you don't need us anymore? You can leave. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's over, it's my show. Yeah. Coming up. I wish you were my dad. What happened to your dad? You don't want to know. Could we see death here tonight? Of course. No! Tell me what you're thinking, you seem a little emotional. I'm sorry. My name's William Close. I am 42 years old. I'm here today with my lovely fiance, Sarah. She's five months pregnant. We're really excited. We're having a, a boy. Look at all these talented people. Today I've brought my most spectacular instrument. It's called the Earth Harp. It's the world's largest stringed instrument. It's 3,000 feet of string. Just hold it up high. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. I feel like I could offer a show experience that has never been offered before in the world. Hey, well, I wish you the best. I'm rooting for you. Right on, man. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is William, William Close. And what do you do for a living, William? I, uh, I create instruments, musical instruments. So you create them and then you play them. Exactly. And uh, tonight I've actually brought one of my earth harps with me, mm -hmm. which is this instrument right back here. An earth harp it goes from there, and where does it keep on going to? So the strings go from the, the bridge on the stage yeah. and go up and attach. To the first balcony. Exactly. Okay. So the theater is the instrument tonight. I need a little clarification just, just before you go on. When you say you make a living from this, what type of living are we talking about exactly? <laughs> Because I'm smelling like a hippie kind of thing here where, like, you're living on $10 a month. What do, you, what do you mean by a living? Be honest. Well, you know, I've done a lot of teaching. So I'll, I'll actually go into schools and I'll um, teach kids how to build instruments. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're saying they're teaching this in the schools, huh? You know. What the hell's going on? No wonder China's beating us. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, good luck. Well, thanks, guys.
proud of him. I'm so proud. It's yours. The one thing about our show is is that we get to see these gems because there's no other stage for them but ours. So Thank you. Thank you. You know, that's what, what I love about the show is actually it's a, uh, a place where really interesting and fantastic things can you know, be presented. Yes. I was telling Howard backstage, we want something that we haven't seen. I was mesmerized by what you did, and I think it is phenomenal. You are amazing. <laughs> Brother, I had given up hope. I spent a lot of time watching a lot of Nudniks. You walked out here, you look like a hippie. I said, if this guy was my son, I'd sit him down and say, listen, you better get a real job. <laughs> and then you walked over to this thing. It is totally original. This is why I'm here. You walk out here, you turn this whole theater into an instrument. That's originality. And you know what? I made my career on originality, and I bow to you. Perfect. Well Perfect. Ah, that's a big one, Howard. You got one in your face. Oh my God. She was so happy for you. I'm just so happy. You were amazing. Oh, <laughs> yes, thanks, you were. Man. How amazing is that? He was amazing. Incredible. That's incredible. But that's what we were just that's talking about. That's the guy about. who's going to go far. Yes. Yeah. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. This is really And I surreal. have to say, I'm having more fun than I've ever had in any season. I love William and the Earth. His whole vibe was different, was unique. I thought that was great. What about the bird lady? A cockatiel sack. I love bird the bird lady. The bird lady was fun, but she's not a superstar act. The sexy saxman. I touched him when he was dancing. Well, you were gyrating with it. And I had wax it. all over my hand. I feel infected. That's why I'm, I'm going to touch you. No, you're not. <laughs> do what you know you're supposed to do. Otherwise, it's just another dance crew. There's a ton of kids out there that are fighting for that same spot that you guys are. We're awesome. We can do it. It is so weird being here after watching the show for years. I'm digging it, but I'm like, what the heck is going on? Are you comfortable yet? No. No? <laughs> I haven't been comfortable since the day I was born. <laughs> Don't give it to him. different to every other dance group that you have seen on our show? We take clogging, but then we adapt it to different styles of music and add a theme and even some other styles of dance within it, so it's very unique. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much.
the whole concept of this dance group. Thank I you love so much. the clogging was so crisp and precise Thank and you. strong. Very, very strong. Thank you. You know, I've been watching the show a long time, first time as a judge, and sometimes I have a really hard time with an act like yours because I'm one of those guys, I'm a bit of a heathen, and I sit on my couch, and sometimes when the dance acts come on, I kind of hit the fast forward because I'm like waiting and waiting, and I just don't get it. But I got to tell you something. I truly admire your dedication. You guys were dead on. You did a great Thank job. You so much. I think that I was aware of uh, who was better than not. I'm not going to point anybody out, but I think in this kind of performance, I can't see that. I shouldn't see that. So I think that that's where you have to focus. That being said, really well done. Thank you. All right. We're going to vote. I'm going to give you a big yes. Thank you. I say you deserve another chance. And it's a yes from me, so we'll see you later. Three yeses. What is this group? All Wheel Sports. Could we see death here tonight? Of course. Well, that's what we're looking for on America's Got Talent. Oh. It's very infectious what you do. It's unique, wonderful, energetic, and I love it. You're going to Vegas. Hi, what's your name? Elizabeth, the amazing Elizabeth. What are you going to do for us today? Aerial silks. Amazing, Elizabeth. If you were my little girl, I would go home, I'd take all the drapes off the windows. You know what? I'm putting you through. Yes. I guess I'm going to see you in Vegas. Yes. You must damn me up there. I got a daughter, and I don't know if I would let her go that high. What's your name? My name is Chris LeVar. I'm going to freestyle and I'm going to rap about you. Here we go with the flow, that's right, I got stamina. Kicking freestyle and I'm looking in the camera. I'm going to say my rhyme, I'm not a coward. Right now I'm looking at Howard Stern. I hope you like and don't boo me. Say hi to Beetlejuice and Baba Booey. I'm on the mic like a kamikaze. The mom of Jack and Kelly, the wife of Ozzy. Hey, rap to me is no hobby. Remember when you used to do the voice of Bobby? Yeah, I'm able, I'm stable, I'm not a fable. I'm rapping to the judges that are sitting at the table. I'll make it clear in the place to be. This is AGT on NBC. Top of the dome. We're not going home. Alone. Shalom. You don't pre-write that? That was 100% off the top of my head. Oh. Let's vote. Yes. yes. This is my daughter Alexa, and we sing together. I believe music is very important in my family. Is that the mad face? <laughs> Did you see my red face? Yeah, I saw that. Actually, my daddy is my favorite singer in the whole entire universe. <laughs> Go get him! What's your name? My name's 
Alexa. Alexa and? My name is Jorge. What are you going to do for us? We're going to sing. All right, well, let's see what you've got. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. Oh. This is a lot of people. Yes. <laughs> it's like 609. You have many friends here. Okay, I won't be scared. All right. Okay, real kid. A real kid. And how long have you been singing? Um, about the day I was one years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Jorge, what do you do for a living? Me? I just graduated from UCST. Right after graduation, we started a channel on, on, on YouTube, and just, we just share our lives to the world. I actually have seen you on YouTube. How many hits on, on the home video? We have 71 million. No, we have more than that, huh? Like 600 and a million. Like 609. <laughs> For me, it was like, wow, Jorge, I wish you were my dad. Uh, you have a beautiful chemistry. What happened to your dad? My dad? <laughs> you don't want to know. Do you know my dad never wanted to play guitar with me? Uh, I, hope, I hope he don't cry. <laughs> All right, Alexa, we are going to vote, okay? What does vote mean? Well, we're going to see... We are going to see whether we're going to send you to the next round or not. And if we do, then we send you to Las Vegas, so I don't know yet. You're in Las Vegas. No, Bobby. <laughs> no, Bobby. We're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Bobby. Yes. Howie. If it's up to me, you're going to Vegas. I'll tell you what. This has been the most um, touching moment on the show so far for me. And by all means, I vote for you to go to Vegas. Okay, Alexa, see you in Vegas. It's adorable. Made me want to go home and pull out my guitar and sing with my daughter. I'm calling my father tonight to find out why he doesn't play <laughs> How guitar. How great was that? You know what I mean? That was a great moment. Man. Oh, man. It made me sad. We're going to Las Vegas. We're going to Las Vegas. <laughs> First day. Fantastic. I think you Howie. really brought a game. You've risen the bar of this show. This was really a surreal experience. I've gotten my feet wet. It was my first go at this. I've watched it on TV for years. It is one of the most fun experiences that I've ever had in my life. I'm loving it, and I think 100% we're going to find that superstar act. I think we're going to hit a home run this year. Once again, America has proven that it has great talent, but stay tuned for a super preview of a very hot new movie, The Amazing Spider-Man. Welcome back to America's Got Talent, where the actors travel from...
from all over the city to prove they've got million dollar talent. It's St. Louis, baby! <laughs> So LA, I lost my virginity, you helped me, I got through the first experience, but now I'm a master, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and I'm ready for it. in this elevator anymore. <laughs> Are we I'm stuck? Not, yeah. No. You nervous? <laughs> yeah. I might trample over you to get out of here. <laughs> oh, 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 this isn't funny. What are you worried? Oh, really? Elevator accidents are? Yeah. Not how many? Okay, good. Well, it's an epidemic in New York. Really? Yeah. Well, now you're making us nervous. We were enjoying the afternoon. Let's get out. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, go. I'm getting out. Go. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Why? I'm getting out of my She's eight years old. You trampled my mother. <laughs> she's, she's lived long enough. If I die, it's important to the show. Your mother's expensive. It's all so real. My mom lived 80 years and then she met Howard. <laughs> shooting in this direction. Yeah. This is where I stand. Is that okay? No. My name's Ben Black. I'm 32 years old. And I do a crossbow act. It's a sharp shooting act. It's very dangerous. And it's very possible anything could go wrong today during the performance. I'm here because I want to bring it to America. I want them to see what I do. I'm gonna show them what I got. All right, man, go get them. Be safe. Hey, now. How are you? What's your name? My name's Ben Black. I dig your outfit. I dig the whole... What do you, what do you call that? A crossbow, right? It's crossbow, yep. So today you're gonna shoot... Are you, are you gonna shoot at those balloons? Is that what we're gonna be seeing? Yes. All right, we can't wait.
Jeff, first of all, uh, I wish I looked like you. Uh, <laughs> God punished me with this face, and you've got my face. <laughs> uh, is that your wife back there, girlfriend, anyone like that? Uh, that's my friend. That's your friend. I, he's not such a great friend if he's doing that to you. <laughs> How many times have you done this with her? Uh, actually, she... This is the new friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, just, she just started doing this this week. Just... It's really a remarkable act, and uh, this worked for me. I liked it a Thank lot, you. and I think the audience was thrilled. Thank you very much. I love the danger aspect Thank of you. your act. If we brought you back, how could you top what you just did? He's going to kill Maybe that girl in the back. <laughs> He's going to put an arrow right through her head. I shoot uh, blindfolded backwards at a balloon over her head. Oh. Can I ask why you're wearing a protective vest, yet she just gets hot pants? <laughs> Uh, in case she comes after me, probably, I don't know. I love it. You know, it was dangerous, it was exciting. And then at the end, when you finish, you do those GQ poses. What? Uh, let's take a vote. How you're excited right now, you're on a roll. I will. What do you think? I will. I'll, I'll vote and pose. Yes. <laughs> That's it. He's got it down. Sharon. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Big yes from me. Can't wait to see what you do in Vegas. Head for the hills. Congratulations, man. I think you're Megan. You get a new friend. Uh, that was scary. Great. That was great. But really, I mean, she's so amazing. <laughs> Coming up, so far, there have been lots of auditions that have popped for the judges. This is AGT on NBC. I found you. And there's still plenty more to come as the auditions continue. Big kid is on the bus. Y'all not know it. You have topped everything that has been done in the past. I ain't Snoop Doggy Dog. Stay, Stay with him, Howard. Hold up. Wait a second. He's sweating on my hands. <laughs>
this is going to sound all sappy and everything. You can make fun of me for saying this. But we are the greatest country in the world. We have the most creative people. Uh, you're everything that makes America great. There's so many countries that don't allow free expression, and I applaud your originality, and I thank you for lifting everyone's spirits in this theater tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Howie. Two years ago, we had Fighting Gravity. Last year, we had Team Illuminate. And this year, with what you're doing with dinosaurs and characters and the contraptions that you have on your body, you've taken it to a whole new level, and you have topped everything that has been done in the past. Yes. Oh, look, that's how they do it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. How the hell they come up with that? Pterodactyl coming through. <laughs> Come on, boy, let's go. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all I do is hear my universe. Sharon's so happy. Look at us. <laughs> you look beautiful, Sharon. You do. Thank you. Yeah. How do I look? Honey? I never know. You're okay. What you are seeing here is the largest species of venomous scorpion in the entire world. When you have a scorpion in your mouth, what is the top concern you have? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'll see you in bed, baby. Yeah! 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 Oh! Yes! Yes! You don't have a scorpion in your mouth, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my dog, Irving. He's four years old. He's a terrier. <laughs> I ain't Snoot Doggy Dog. <laughs> No, you're the first talking dog. Yeah, you're the second. <laughs> I gotta be me. I gotta be me. Both of you have incredible talent. You were terrific. You are so funny. The dog is amazing. And I'm going to say yes. Yes. Yes for me, too. You're going to Vegas. Yes, you're good. Great, how are you? All right, thank you. What's the name of the group? We are the world famous Stick and Move Dance Crew. Let's see what you got. You know, guys, you really delivered. You did moves that I haven't seen before, and your timing was brilliant. It was wow here. It was exciting. You deserve the standing ovation. We're going to vote. Yes. yes. Guys in Vegas. All right. Good to see you. Take care. Yes, sir. Catch you next time. Coming up, we're going to show you a stunt that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Oh! Oh! My name is Sanjula Vamana. I am 35 years old, and I am from Chicago, Illinois. 
Currently, I am a stay-at-home dad during the day. I am also a full-time performer at night and on the weekends. Send you love. I've worked in the medical field for 13 years, and a lot of what I do, I'm able to do not only through the power of my mind, but also my extensive knowledge in emergency trauma medicine. It's got to make sure these get absolutely clean. <laughs> I'm here to show the audience something they may have never seen before and something they may never want to see again, but either way, they'll be entertained. I guarantee it. Daddy, you see him? Hello, hello. What's happening? I am Sanjula Vamana. And who are these other two people? And this is my lovely wife, Red, Red Rum. Ah. Uh, well, yeah. And what is your name? My name is uh, Pinkerton. Pinkerton, all right. Yes. Now, Sharon, who has more tattoos, Ozzy or this guy in the middle? I can't Oh, definitely that. the gentleman in the middle. Well, uh, let me ask you what you do, first of all. What, what are we looking at here? Uh, I am a circus sideshow per, uh, performer, and I uh, am also a stay-at-home dad during the day. Right. <laughs> Talking about you, Dexter. <laughs> Where can you go dressed like that anyway? <laughs> Best of luck. Just do not try this at home. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need each and every one of your help for this. We're going to show you a stunt that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Mommy and Daddy are about to do some stuff that we probably shouldn't be watching. You're too young to see this stuff. We're going to cover your eyes and mine too, okay? What I need you guys to do is help chant his name with me right now. We're going to go, San Jula. San Jula. I need each and every one all the way in the balcony. Let's hear it. San Jula. San Jula. San Dead, where he's, he's gonna put it in his ear. Sad, you love. Sad, you love. Sad, you love. Oh, Sad, you love. to a nice accounting job. Wow. I, I actually want to thank you because you remind me of why I don't like people. <laughs> Guys, you're great, but it's more a gross up to me than maybe a million dollar act. It's a sideshow. Maybe that's where it's got to stay. Is it just me or does it look like Aladdin and Johnny Depp had weird brothers that they don't talk about? <laughs> it's a no from me. Oh, we're going to the vote. Okay. Okay. Well, Howie, you want to vote? It's a, it's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me, too, but we appreciate you being here. All right. All right. Thank you, America, and thank you, Judge, for that? having us. What was that? I said thank you for having us. Not getting it. Thank you for having us. Oh, I didn't, it's not clear. I can't hear it clearly. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is so bad. It's funny. <laughs> 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 Stop. This is what they ask. Oh, he's pulling it out next to you. just chilling like you used to it. What is going on? It feels like America's falling apart or something. <laughs> yeah, you guys got this. Yeah, oh yeah. Hey, you know, I've been looking for someone to play me in a movie, and this guy next to you with the glasses, I think I found my man. <laughs> Little Howard, my son. Don't uh, hide your father down. <laughs> Such hopes for you. Can you do anything else besides the kazoo? My son. Sorry, fellas, it's a no for me. <laughs> oh, come on, kazoo. It's a lot of fun, man. What's your name? My name is Stormin Norman. <laughs> My father had a sense of humor. Let's see it, Stormin Norman. Best 
I could do with an artificial pumpkin. Have I drained this show of so much budget that we can't get a real pumpkin? St. Louis does have talent. I'm just trying to find it. I don't know. It must be something in the water, but it ain't going so well. Here. Hello? Somebody scream! Yo, man! my song! Just leave! Just leave! This is a hard act for me to imagine as a million dollar America's Got Talent act. I don't see it in our competition. You give me one chance. We just did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the record back on again. Here we go. Just please. Come on. Uh -oh. We basically hustle everything we can. Like that boom. We want to be able to outdo ourselves every single time. Y'all ready? It's the big moment. We're all the way in Tennessee. Where we're from, this opportunity does not come day to day. And when you get it, trust me, you snatch it and you go all the way with it. All right, well, go get them. What's up, everybody? What's your name? We are Loyalty Dance Team from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. <laughs> wow. And what do you do for a living? We all have day jobs. Some of us are skate ring guards, sales associates, fast food. We regular people, but we love to do this. But the, the goal is, and the dream is... Entertaining. We basically want to stand up for those people who are afraid to be themselves, who hasn't been so popular. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's it. Thank you for that. I'm afraid to be myself. Every you know time what? I'm myself, I get in trouble, so thank you for that. <laughs> Let's see what you have. Are you ready? I need everybody to report to the dance floor Grimmie. right now. We're about to get it popping in this Grimmy, Grimmy, Grimmy. I already told y'all what it is, oh. man. Swizzy, Swizzy. That gon' make me oh. jump to you. Push your 
just love your passion. I love the speed and, you know, the conviction, the way you dance. I mean, you really feel it. And I thought you were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whenever uh, guys come out, they're going to dance. My expectations are usually low. I just said to myself, this is original. We haven't seen anyone like you guys. You guys put in your time. You deserve this standing ovation. And good for you. It's up to you, Dad. Tell me what you're thinking. You seem a little emotional. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I'm the, the newest one on the team. I came from a whole other state to be on this team, and actually, I feel like it was God's gift for me to meet them. It's, it's a family. That's the difference between this just being a dance team. It's a family. They accepted me from the outside. All right, well, we're going to vote now. Hold steady. Howard? A beautiful, emotional performance. I admire the fact that you are loyal to one another, and uh, it's a big yes from me. Sharon? I love the word family. I love you. I can see this is a family. I love you yes. You know what we're doing this summer? No. We're taking a family trip to Las Vegas. <laughs> I believe those guys are hard workers, that they will they come are. up with something for Vegas they that'll are. be just by their that'll be bigger. emotion. Yeah. It means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Howie, you're laughing. I love it. I love it. Okay, we're going to lock you up, Howie. I know. Believe me, you're not going to repent. If I sing a little bit, you're going to love my voice. I like yeah. Howie very much. You know what I'm going to do right now? Yes. Why are you crying? Sergio Correa, and my artistic name is simply Sergio. My dream is to be a recording artist. My voice can be sweet, but strong and firm. My voice, it can't be defined. I really like the way you dress. You look awesome. You look beautiful. You. My wife, she's my number one fan in the whole universe. It's really good. Yeah. Just leave it. The curls are perfect. When I sing, she melts like butter. You let it loose? Okay, let it loose. This is the moment that Simply Sergio is waiting for his whole entire life. Being here means everything. Get out there! Go! Simply Howard, yes. Shannon, and right. Howie, I've yes. watched you. Uh, well, I want a million dollars. I feel like I'm in a zoo cage and you're pointing at each one of the animals. That's what I like. Oh. Uh, what's your name? Simply Sergio. Simply Sergio. So it's Sergio. Simply, simply Sergio. Sergio. Simply Sergio. You say the simply? Well, whatever. It's a free country. <laughs> what do you do? Singing and dancing. All right. Well, good luck with this. You're cool. I like. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're you're cool. You're cool. I'm cool. Oh, that's an Indian girl, lovely the girl from 
que panima goes walking when she passes each one she passes goes ah but each day when she walks to the city she looks straight ahead not at me olha que coisa mais linda mais cheia de graça ela menina que vem e que passa o doce balanço caminho do mar Passes his job. Ah. That's my girl from Ipanema. We did good. He I should incorporate us it. into his act. Exactly. Howard. Well, that was dreadful, of course. Oh. You know that, don't you? You know, you're a nice enough guy. I don't know what you're doing here. But I, I have a different ability of singing. If I can sing one a little bit for you and show my real voice, just a little bit. Does he have a better voice than what he did already? Howie, you're laughing. I loved, I loved it. I okay, loved we're going to lock you up, Howie. I know. Believe me, you're not going to repeat. If I sing a little bit of God Bless America, you're going to love my voice. I like Howie very much, and I respect his opinion. So you know what I'm going to do right now? Yes. I want to hear it. God Bless America. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Let's go. Let's go. God Bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Yes, America. Shaking. He's shaking. Simply, I want to say to you. Are you? That, wait a second. He's sweating on my hand. I know, but hold on to simply. Simply. <laughs> when you came out here, you were funny. It was funny, and it's corny and cheesy and funny, and I think people would enjoy that. I would give you a yes. I want to see you again. I love you. I really love you. Sharon, Sharon, what do you say? Simply, Sergio, forget everything else. Opera for you, young man, you. and it's a yes. It's a yes from me. Three, Three yeses. yeses. We'll yeah. see you in Vegas. Second draw. Howard is your biggest fan now. Watch the stairs. Oh my God! I can, my act is getting down the steps. Like an 80-year-old woman. I almost had a heart attack up there. <laughs> Thank you. Proven it.
really does have great talent, but right now, it's time for a super preview of a very hot new movie. It's The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm Shanice, and this is my father, Maurice. We are street performers. We sit up on the sidewalk, and we put our bucket out, and we sing. Even though it's just a sidewalk, it, to me, it's a stage, and I love that feeling. My dad is like my best friend. I spend more time with my father than I do with my friend. What about this guy, man? You've okay. done, this, you've done this before. I got her back. Yeah, that's, I know how it feels, you know. <laughs> my new dad, too, so see what's going on. Yeah, I get it. I'm real nervous, but hopefully we're going to show how much street performers can bring to the stage tonight. Go out there and give them what you got. Give me your names. I'm Shanice, and this is my father, Maurice. We're a father and daughter vocal duo. Do you ever perform professionally? We're street musicians. Oh, great. That's great. How old are you? I'm 18. And your dad? 35. <laughs> Thought so. 62. <laughs> I'm 62 years old. Well, I cannot wait to hear you both sing. Thank so, you. good luck. Thank you. This is You Got a Friend. When you're down in trouble, need some love and care. Nothing, nothing is going right, going right. Just close your eyes and think. Daughter got skill. Even your dark is night. Dark is night. You just call on my name. And you know wherever I am, I'll come running. Yes, I will to see you again. Come true. You have such a beautiful voice, and you're a beautiful young girl. Thank you. Janice, you say it's a dream come true. What is your dream? I always wanted to perform in front of so many people. I never had so much confidence in myself. She's so nervous. When a father and daughter like you come on, you move me. You guys are spectacular together. I think every father in America right now is saying, wow, that's the kind of relationship I want with my daughter. Thank you. you are spectacularly cute and have charisma, and your father plays off you so well. This is what I call perfection. Congratulations. Thank you. I got everything that Howard is getting, you know, the compassion and the love and the father-daughter. I have two daughters of my own, and, and all that is wonderful, and I connect to that and inspired by what I see on stage. But beyond that, Shanice, Shanice, you are an angel. You are a superstar. Thank Your you. voice 
You really are something special, and you gave us the first real huge moment of season seven of America's Got Talent. My goodness, you moved everyone in this theater tonight. It was fantastic. Thank you. So we're going to vote now. I think we all know what we're going to say. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Tearing up. Hey, I got a daughter of my own. Shut up. For some reason, I got the Sonny and Cher vibe in the sense that the father plays off her so well and makes her even shine more. Like, You're you right. can't wait for her right. moments. And so, this act works perfectly. Like, Give me a hug, man. You guys were amazing out there. I mean, not just the talent, but obviously the connection, and I mean, you both are so emotional. Tell me, what does this mean to you guys? This is, like, unbelievable. Like, I'm dreaming. This is where dreams come true. Okay. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm so proud. Everything about St. Louis has been amazing. There is such an array of talent here. And who knew? I cannot believe that America's Got Talent has never been to St. Louis. This is the first, but I promise you, this will not be the last. St. Louis, I would have to say that uh, we hit a home run here. I mean, home run. It is really remarkable how good the talent's been. And I'm really hopeful now. I feel we're on our way. Good night, St. Louis. <laughs>